Other than timber, of course, for pen turning, you can also use acrylics. So an acrylic blank will look like this, and you can turn a result like this. The Wood Knight is sponsored by I Would Like. Acrylics are interesting because they have a lot of positives. They don't need a finish as it's already plastic, so you can just polish it. They don't suffer from expansion, so you can drill and then leave that for a week. You won't find that the hole has changed size. Uh, and they have some downsides as well. You have to be careful with heat because that can cause melting and that sort of thing. There are a few minor differences, so we'll go through relatively quickly the process of uh, creating a acrylic pen. First off, drilling is exactly the same with the only minor difference being that you'll need to sort of peck drill. So do a little bit at a time, bring it up and bring up all the swarf. You may need to stop, remove the swarf from the drill bit and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So you need to keep doing that peck motion to remove the chips because otherwise that heat can build up inside and melt the acrylic. And generally you don't want to do that. Now with a lot of acrylics they will smell awful so just be aware of that. For some acrylics uh, you could just glue in the tube just like normal. Um, and again CA while roughing up the tube is all that you'd need. However, for a lot of acrylics, they're actually more translucent than they are opaque, and that will present problems. Now, at the moment, you can't quite see it, but if you were to put the tube in, once you turn that down, there's quite a good chance that you'd actually see the brass tube, and it'll look kind of ugly. So before we actually glue in the tube, we need to determine whether this is an opaque or a translucent blank. Generally holding it up to the light, we can see that a fair bit of that light is actually shining through it. So that, to me, would indicate that it's a fairly translucent one. What we need to do is actually paint the blank and the tube. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. One is that you can paint just the tube, one is just the uh, blank itself, or you can do both. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter what sort of paint you use either. I'm going to use acrylic paint because this is already acrylic. It should probably bond to itself okay. Uh, and the colour, it varies. Um, so on this blank here, I'd probably go for a white colour. It's a fairly light blank and has some white in it, so it'd probably enhance. On other blanks such as this, a bit of black might darken it overall, but it will probably enrich the colours so that you're getting a little bit more out of it. On others, you can try and match the colour in the blank itself to the colour that you paint. Experiment with it and see what you come up with. I'm going to paint both the tube and the blank. Just as before, we need to scuff up the tube because that's going to be covered in lacquer. So we're going to have a pour bond to that. Spray paint is ideal for this. If you've got it, I don't and I'm not willing to buy any. So I'm just going to get a small brush and paint on the inside. Uh, you could probably dip it in and that would be fine too. I'll paint the tube as well. That way, hopefully, if there's any spots I've missed, the tube will be black and the CA is clear, so hopefully we won't notice any issues.
I'm not a huge fan of turning acrylics. I just don't enjoy the process. I find nothing wrong with acrylics themselves. If that's what you enjoy, that's what you enjoy. I just don't like the process, uh, having to pick up all of the shavings, pull it off the lathe. That's a real start-stop process. And I prefer the look of a timber pen, but that's my personal preference. Don't let my personal biases affect your decision on whether you like a pen like this or not. Now you might have thought that the black paint was a little bit excessive. Well, compared to what it was originally, yeah, it's made it actually a little bit darker. At the same time, that has enhanced the color, so it's a little bit more of a deeper, richer color. Uh, and if I had have gone with white as the inside color, it would have come out a little bit lighter, though perhaps a little bit more muted. Now again, you might think that's a little bit excessive, but here are some failures from actually quite a few years ago now, there's probably two or three years ago. Um, and these were admittedly more transparent or translucent blanks. And they are hideous. This one here, you can see the glue between the brass and the tube. And if that wasn't bad enough, you can see the brass tube, which has been scuffed. So it's really ugly looking. Uh, obviously, I didn't turn this into a final pen. This one, I used older paint and gone a little bit off, but the uh, problem I did is I painted the brass tube, not the inside of the barrel. So it's got the same issue where you can see between the barrel and the uh, tube and the glue in between, and that also looks quite bad. So the paint on the tube is just in case any of the paint on the barrel comes off as you're inserting it and you've got that little bit of backup. Now you can find acrylic pen blanks at most turning supply and woodworking supply stores. Uh, you can make your own. I think typically they're made from polyester resin. You don't need too much in the way of fancy equipment. You can just pour it into a mold. Uh, if you're going to integrate it with wood, that's when you need to look into pressure pots and the like. Uh, it's not something that I've looked into and Look, I'm willing to, but I can't justify the money for it. So who knows, maybe if Patreon and all of that take off for me, I can look at that in the future. So the micro gloss abrasive that I used at the end is rated as one micron, which is about the equivalent of 14,000 grit, which is not actually that much of a step up from the micro mesh. It is isn't a necessary step. It does make it feel a little bit glossier and smoother. Though there are other products on the market that will do a similar job or might be a higher grit. Uh, you could certainly use uh, AAA, which should break down to about 30,000 grit, but you do need to be a little bit more careful with AAA on acrylics because they can cause it to melt and melt lines into it. And I have had that happen once, I think. Uh, so you just need to be a little bit more careful with your selection of rag, make sure it has a very, very fine weave. You don't want the uh, something with a very pronounced grain to it, so to speak, because that can burn lines into it and you want continuous motion. Thanks for watching.